In this video, we're going to look at bookmarks. Let's start this off right away by selecting and creating a bookmark on the Frugal Computer Guide title. To do that, we go into Insert, come down to Bookmark, and we need to give it a name. We will call this Title. Now I want to create another bookmark uh, halfway down or so. How about this one that says, I am organized. And I'm going up to insert again, bookmarks. I will call this, I am organized. Alrighty, and we'll do one more down at the bottom. We'll come down to summary. In summary, we will highlight summary, insert bookmark, summary. Now that we have our bookmarks set, we need to show how to get to them. And that's done by going up to this star here that says navigation, or you can hit F5 and it'll bring up this pop up window. And it, it can be a little intimidating with all the things on here. Don't worry about it. We're going to look at right here, bookmarks. And here's the three bookmarks we just set. The title, summary, and I am organized. To get to the title, I just double click it. It takes me right to the top. To go to the summary, again, double click and the I am organized. Also double clicking. Now let's say that we want to change this summary to say in summary. So I'm right clicking on summary, going down to bookmark and rename. And I will change that to in space summary because it does allow spaces as we saw earlier with the I am organized. So now we've got in summary. Let's say that we don't want organized anymore. We've, we've gone to it a few times. We don't need it. So I'm going to, right now I just right, I left click down there. I'm going to right click, bookmark, and delete. So it is deleted. Now we've only got the in summary and the title. One other thing that I want to show you while we're on this page is getting to different pages. Jumping to a page. Instead of going to the bookmark, let's say we wanted to go to the uh, second page. We just in that box up there, I can click to, and if you wait, it will take you right to it. Or I can type in four, hit enter, and it jumps me down right away. So I can either hit enter or just type in the page, and after uh, maybe a second or two, it takes me right, right to it. These little arrows, this means a less page or a greater page. So we're on one, so only the up arrow will work. It'll take me to page two page three, page four. So there's a little bit of navigation on there and that's why this is called navigation. We'll go over a few of these other things in future tutorials, but for now we just need to know about the bookmarks and the pages going up and down. Now that we know the find and the bookmarks, let's go into find again. Frugal and it finds the first one, hitting the arrow down that we already know about. Another thing is these arrows down in the bottom right hand corner. Continue search forward. Let me bring this in so we can see the whole message. Continue search forward, it says. Well, we got the whole, most of it there. Okay, so you, you know what it says, continue search forward. So clicking down, it does the same thing as our find up at the top, going up and down. Alrighty. Now, the one thing about that is our navigation here. Similar to what we had before, this is telling us to repeat the search. But if we want to change those up and down arrows to bookmarks, I can click bookmark. Now, when I click the up and down, it says previous bookmark, next bookmark. 
so I can scroll up and down by bookmarks, whichever I, I set it to. And there, there's more in here, but we're just going to deal with the bookmark and the repeat search for now. And this may look similar to what we had when we click this navigation. And if we click this little box here, it's the same thing. So now we've got three of these things explained, but there's still a lot and we'll go over some more of these. I don't know about all, but we'll find out in future tutorials. Thank <laughs> you.